What's up? So, Fiona here. I, okay, why did I say Fiona here? I don't know. That's interesting. It's really hot out and I don't have my AC on because it's really loud when I turn my AC on. But, anyways, <laughs> I'm going to be showing you my brand new Mustang EcoBoost. This is literally, like, one of my dream cars. I'm, like, a very big car person, so, like, I have multiple dream cars. But I got my dream car at the age of 16, and I wanted to share what's inside my car, like, my little survival things in my car, what I've done to my car, because I just recently got it tinted, like, kind of all over the place, um, and just the cool features about the EcoBoost Mustang. Um, mine is a 2019. It's not a 2020. Um, but, yes, I bought this car with my own money. Please do not comment, like, daddy bought it, or, like, like, oh, your parents bought it for you. No, they didn't. They would never buy me this car. They would, they probably wouldn't even buy me a car. They'd give me, like, one of their old cars, maybe, if I was lucky. Anywho, anyways, let's get into the video. So this is what my car looks like. It is a charcoal gray. That is what it's called. And then I just got my windows and my headlights and my taillights tinted and my back windshield and an eyebrow. It's like a little like shield for the sun on the front window. Um, I'm gonna show you a few clips of that really, really quick. <laughs> Okay, so I just got my car back from the shop like not even like 20 minutes ago And okay, so we did this little part right here. So it's not the whole entire headlight Um, so there's that and then also Oh my god, there's a car coming. Um, these are the windows. You can obviously you can see me You can't really see in but oh, okay. Well if I put you to the freaking window you can Um, but it's very reflective. Ooh, hi guys. Oh, uh. and then I have the head headlights or no these are the tail lights my bad and these are slightly tinted the tint and like everything looks so good like oh my god oh also i forgot to share this i just added this like they just like recommended it to me so i was like bet let's do it um it's like a windshield tint but it's only on the top it's called an eyebrow um and it just like blocks the sun at like golden hour so it doesn't blind you when you're driving um but yes so I just got that done. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna show you uh, some cool features about my car. Number one, I have to get out of my car to show you this feature. I can turn on my car and whatever the last like setting I had my AC or my heat on, it will automatically blast that. So if it's really cold, I can start my car from inside by just hitting these two buttons twice each and it starts my car so you can kind of hear the exhaust when it started so that's super sick that the ac is on as you can see when i walked in it's like blasting um oh, oh my god okay i'm gonna turn it off that's really loud quick little interruption i am partnering with makari on this video so makari is a really cool app it is pretty much where you like buy and sell things that are used. There's so many different items on there. There's like purses, there's workout gear, there's shoes. There's literally everything on Makari, which is super sick. Um, and they just came out with a super sick new like feature, which is actually in my area right now. It's in San Francisco. So pretty much they're collabing with Postmates on this and it's pretty much where like, let's say I post a workout item on Makari. Uh, that day, a Postmates driver, if someone buys it, of course, will come and pick it up and deliver it to that person. So you'll get it in the same day, and you'll get also the money in the same day if you're selling it, or you'll get the product if you're the one purchasing it. Um, so it's super sick. I'm going to show you exactly how it works. Okay, so I'm going to go to the little sell button, and then I'm going to select my images of my Core Max machine. Um, so I select just two. Now we have our photos, then you caption it, so I'm selling workout gear, or workout equipment. So I'm just going to enter in my zip code, then as you can see it says Macari Now. That is the new little program that they're doing. So you can select that, and it's home pickup, which is so sick. Um, just you got to make sure it fits in a Prius trunk. Then you're going to set up your price, uh, they recommend a price, so 28 bucks. I feel like that's a really good deal, and then you just hit list and boom. I'm gonna wait for someone to buy it and for the Postmates driver to arrive. Okay, so I just got a notification that my Macari Postmates driver is gonna be here very, very soon. So I'm gonna go set out my workout gear. He's pulling up right now. So you don't need a box. You don't need any contact with like any humans to do this. It is 
pretty cool. So I'll have the link down below if you want to download Makari and check this out. Um, so yes, continuing with the video. So as soon as you walk into my car, this is what you see. So this is the steering wheel. We have like all the normal buttons. We have cruise control right here. We have this like the volume, the skip button. This right here is my favorite part. So you can go into your car, as you can see. So it's gonna pop up on that screen right in there. And you can literally select anything. So, okay, gauge mode. So I can see how fast I'm going. Um, that's not that cool, but you can do your, um, like how much fuel you use. On average, I get 21, I guess, uh, miles per gallon. And then my favorite part is the settings. So you go into settings and then you can go into your exhaust mode, which is so sick. So you can make it quiet, which doesn't really ever make it quiet. But like, let's say like you're sneaking out at night and you don't want your parents to hear your car start. You can use that. Um, it doesn't really work. Um, eh. <laughs> but yeah, that's something. Um, then you have normal. Then we have sport mode. Um, which is cool and then we got track which is personally what i put it in it makes the exhaust sound super nice this is a video of me revving my engine um it like crackles it pops the exhaust sounds pretty good for being a stock exhaust dash because that was kind of loud then this is where stuff gets real cool you have this right here so you can go into like different modes so right here you can see i have normal mode i have sport plus i have track mode which no i do not want to go into track mode then i have a drag strip and then i have wet snow then you can also change your steering wheel mode which honestly i haven't really tried there's normal there's sport and there's comfort i usually just have it on normal but comfort actually sounds kind of nice um then you can just literally with one flick of the button turn off your traction control that i accidentally almost hit once while driving because like i keep my like i keep my lip gloss in here and my facial mist so sometimes i'll like grab it and i hit the button and i was like no 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 so yeah super cool oh my god um anyways so yes that's some interesting little things about my car that i thought i should share before I get into like actually showing what's in my car and like my survival stuff that I keep in my car, I wanted to share, um, I've already gotten two speeding tickets and I've only had this car for like a month and a half. Um, be very careful while you're driving. I do not like encourage you to speed. Um, obviously since I did buy a fast car, it's easy to go fast. Um, so be very, very careful. My insurance has already gone up. And if I get one more ticket, my license is going to be taken away. So be very, very careful while you're driving. Um, but also have fun because <laughs> no. Okay. Ah, don't support that. Ah, okay, cool. I'm super crazy. Okay. Sorry, I haven't filmed a video in a while, so I'm just like letting all my my uh, my tea out, if you will. Anyways, okay, I'm gonna show you what's in my car. So starting when I first get into my car, this is like I think the first thing I personally see. So I have this little like drawer. It's not even a drawer. It's like the most unconvenient little thing ever. But I have my like Altoids, which are not Altoids actually. I have just some like stuff in case I need like money. I have 20 bucks and then I also have a Costco card in here and I have a few quarters in case I need a meter. Um, so I have that in there. Then something really important that I feel like a lot of like people should have in their cars is a taser. Um, I keep it on my driver's side just in case someone approaches my car and I feel like I could get hurt. Oh my god, I'm so scared of this thing. Cool. Anyways, it's a taser. It works. Um, ugh. Oh my god. So scared about that. I don't like touching the top. Boom. Okay, yeah. But you should keep a taser in your car. I think it's a smart idea. Next up in my little compartment, I have hand sanitizer. Uh, just because, you know, corona time. I also, because you know what, I watch... Oh, and that could have just cut me. Oh my god. I have a knife in here. Just because I watch a lot of Criminal Minds and I don't know what could happen to me if I'm like on a road trip or late at night, I'm out on the streets. I do have this. Um, don't know if it's the smartest idea to have in my car because I'm scared it's gonna like one time like be used against me. But um, anyways, yeah. Then I also keep a mask in here at all times. And then I have another thing of hand sanitizer just in case I ever run out. 
Next up right here, I have uh, a few little things. I have the refreshing facial mist just in case it's really hot and I want to like spray my face before I drive or something. Um, I'll have Frilliance linked down below, my beauty brand, if you want to check it out. Um, then I also have this Laneige lip balm. Then in my little console right here, I have uh, two masks just in case I need more. Then I always keep chips in here. Then I keep makeup in here, which is honestly so incredibly useful. Like, sometimes I'll, like, pull up to my friend's house and I won't know that there's, like, cute people there and I, like, have to do my makeup really fast. Then I have one of my friend's pairs of sunglasses, actually. I need to give those back to him. Um, and then I have actual mints. And usually I'll also have gum in here, but I just ran out. So that is that. But then in here I have... A bunch of like information and I keep my license in there also and I also have napkins so it's like my insurance and all that stuff um, now going into my trunk which I keep so much you're like not ready for it also it's like 100 degrees out and I don't have my AC on and I'm wearing a long sleeve so I'm like dripping in sweat <sighs> then my trunk is literally a disaster as you can see, I don't even know how to describe my trunk. So, okay, this stuff I do always have in here. This stuff is all just like random, but I'll kind of like show you some of it. Uh, this right here, I have more emergency makeup, but I have some more stuff in here that I think is super useful. Uh, so in case I'm ever at like a sleepover and I don't have a toothbrush, I have a toothbrush in here, I have a makeup brush. Um, in here I have lotion. Um, I also have, I think, band-aids and tampons just in case. Um, then I also have mascara back here, dry shampoo, a razor, and a tied to go pin just in case I ever stain an outfit. Uh, and then I also have Advil in case I ever have a headache or cramps. Then I have my air fresheners in my car. This smells so good. I got it at Target. Definitely recommend. I have one in right now. Uh, then I have two gallons of water just in case I am like stranded somewhere ever or there's like a national disaster. Uh, I always will have water in my car so this could last me a pretty long time. Then I also have soup. Um, I keep these soups in my car in case I ever get really hungry uh, and I want to microwave soup. Then I just keep my like emergency snacks. This right here which is super sick. My mom got this for me right when I got my license. Um, so it's a solar panel, um, little thingy bobber so you can charge your phone, which is so freaking sick. Um, so it, that's really cool. And then you can crank this thing right here and then you get the radio. So if there's like ever like a disaster or something that happens, I can hear the radio. And then there's also a flashlight. And then in here, I, okay, I always am traveling to like LA and back. And I always keep like sweaters and beanies and bathing suits in here. Um, I also have like shorts and pants. I also have always a blanket in my car and same with a towel just in case I ever go to the beach. Okay, I'm just gonna like put all this to the side. Boom. And then I'm gonna put my suitcase right there. But yes, that is everything that is in my car. One more thing that I think a lot of people share is their like car keys. So I have this keychain right here. Um, it's an off-white keychain that my aunt got me actually. And then I just recently bought this little like Louis Vuitton wallet. So I just keep my uh, credit cards in here. And I have a little Nike shoe because I love Nike. And I love their Jordans. Oh my God, Jordans are the love of my life. Literally, as you can see. Whoa, I really like Jordans. Um, anyways, so I'm gonna actually uh, go pack and get on my road trip to LA. I'm gonna kind of show you what I do on a road trip and like how I keep myself entertained for like five, six hours. Okay, so I started my road trip like three and a half hours ago. I've been driving for three and a half hours. I am so insanely tired right now. Um, the sun is setting, as you can kind of see. I think it's 7.40 right now. Um, and uh, currently I've been just listening to my book. There's this book I've been listening to, it's called Before We Fall, I think. And listening to books on road trips, especially like when you're alone, is the most like entertaining thing that you can do, honestly. Um, I feel like there's not much else Watch to do. vehicle snapped on shoulder ahead. Uh, I feel like there's not much else to do. And obviously blast music, like I do both of those, like I switch off between the two. I have to pee so bad though, and there's literally nothing around me. There's just trees. Um, so, that's a bit of a problem. But, anyways, that's my little update. Is that a cop? Oh my god. We're fine. I'm not really speeding that much. We're good. I love how I say that much. Oh my god. Okay. I'm gonna go find a bathroom and keep you posted. What's
what's up um so i forgot to film an outro but i made it to la i didn't get pulled over um it was a great road trip i'm now at my friend kyla's house anyways um Yes, I love you so much. Thank you for watching this video. I hope this video helped you out if you're going to go car shopping soon or um, if you're just curious what my car looked like and what was in my car. Um, mwah, love you. I look scary. <laughs>